We've been very good friends now for about three years. We've both been married before, but this is a marriage for us and for our family. We've both had a lot of experience with life and we appreciate each other, which means a lot. You know, where we are in life, things are well established. I've got the two wonderful boys and Vivian loves them. You know, Vivian unfortunately lost her only daughter a year ago. I mean, it was a very, a very difficult thing for all of us. Once Valerie was gone, we realized that uh, it makes an opportunity to reunite a family that she so wonderfully desires. The great. Wow, <sighs> my bride. <laughs> You're beautiful. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you. Life is good. Life is good. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is standing together facing the world. And it is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Let the groom say after me, I, Matthew. I, Matthew. Now take you, Vivian. Now take you, Vivian. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I, Vivian. I, Vivian. Now take you, Matthew. Now take you, Matthew. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. You may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Whitty. <laughs> Welcome to our new chariot. Vivian is just a wonderful, wonderful woman. I, I consider her to be ageless. I didn't know her when she was a child, but I feel that I could have. She's very kind, very loving, and she tends to make everybody's day a little better. He is the most special. You know, I can't single out everything because he's just the perfect person. You know, he's loving, he's appreciative, he's generous, he's kind, he's uh, a very good person. What I love about Vivian is all the, all the difficulties that she's had in life. And I mean, she's had some, some terrible things happen. She always comes out positive. She always comes out smiling. And she's so comfortable with herself that makes her very comfortable with other people. You know, I think of Job in the Bible who suffered greatly but never lost his faith. And that's Vivian. She, she's always kind. She's always loving. Thanks to each and every one of you for coming here and sharing this day with us. It's important to be surrounded by the people that we love, and that includes everybody in the room. Uh, the only rule is have a good time, okay? 
Thanks, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Van and their first dance of the Marion Couple. Ladies and But, well, the question is, how did we meet? I travel a lot for work, and Vivian works at the airport. Uh, coming home from a late flight, I got on her bus, and she, she opened the door. She said, welcome home. And you have a thought for a minute, like, how does she know that? Then, of course, you think about it. Okay, sure, I'm on my way home to the parking lot. And uh, we kind of struck up a conversation. And, um, you know, well, we didn't really forget each other. Came back, oh, is Vivian driving today? No. Well, she had word that somebody was asking about her. I asked Kimmy, I says, what does he look like? She goes, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he asked about three times. He finally caught me in the booth. You know, she was talking about her garden that day. I said, well, if you need help in the garden, here's the phone. <laughs> Two months go by, three months go by, four months go by. Finally, one day, Carol had had enough of me just talking about him. <laughs> so she says, well, why don't you call him and tell him why you're not calling? <laughs> and I was a little afraid to jump in and she just gave me that little push that made me call him. So that, that's how we met and um, thanks to Carol, I gave him a call. in love and we're very happy stay stay <laughs> stay girl stay <laughs> it's up to us sweetheart it is we got that feeling and if we don't keep it it's nobody's fault but ours that's right love you love you too